and we're live in the House of Chaos with Crystal Crawford. I wanted to talk to you guys today because I have stumbled on a new book that is giving me words for the changes that I'm experiencing doing the How to Become Money Workbook and also doing and facilitating the money calls that I'm about to facilitate on Thursday. Are you signed up yet? If you're not signed up yet, why aren't you signed up yet? All right. Listen, this book, if you haven't gotten it yet, hi, Lynn, is called A Happy Pocket Full of Money, and I highly recommend it. And if you use access consciousness tools in your money reality um, for your life, you are going to find that some of the, the things in this book are a little, um, they need a little adjusting. Most of it is really, really good. And so I am going to do a, like a mini masterclass on, on quantum physics and tell you, and I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to read this to you because there's so much of what we do with access consciousness that is unexplainable to people. But actually what we're doing is changing, is science. Actually what we're doing is science. So I'm going to read this to you, and so bear with me. So we're going to go have a little, little book club, impromptu Facebook Live book club. Go get a glass of something, sit down, okay? So you may be wondering what quantum physics has to do with your wealth and happiness. Well, you'd better believe that it has everything to do with it. How can you build a house if you do not know what a house is made of and how it's constructed? Hi, Shana. Quantum physics begins to explain how everything in your world comes to be. Now, one of the things I've been, tr I've been really looking at is like, I've literally done the How to Become Money workbook four times now, and Gary says to do it a hundred. And everybody who's doing this workbook with me is radically changing. Like our lives are just changing. The energy is changing. Our things are opening up. Things are funner. Um, money is showing up in very random ways. And so I'm adding to that doing these three calls like on Thursday because what I want to look at is what are the underlying points of view that's keeping you from being money in your life so that life can actually function in the way that life works. Okay, back to quantum physics. So... Quantum physics begins to explain how everything in your world comes to be. Um, you are in direct control of your entire physical world, but you may not be aware of this fact. And your lack of awareness of this fact, how the physical matter comes about, and your role in it, makes your life appear to you as an occurrence that is out of your control. It may appear to you as if you are the victim of circumstances, while all along you are the cause of those circumstances, including your experience of wealth, or the lack of it. You with me? Okay. So first, what is quantum physics? Quantum physics is the study of the building blocks of the universe. For example, your body is made up of cells. Those cells, in turn, are made up of molecules, which are made up of atoms, which are in turn made up of subatomic particles, like electrons. This is the world of quantum physics. Everything is made up of large groups of subatomic particles. Hi, Dorothy. Your body, a tree, thoughts, a vehicle, a planet, light, everything else are concentrations of energy. All of them are large collections of pretty much the same types of subatomic particles. The only difference is in the way these particles are grouped together in ever larger building blocks. Knowing how they work is a key to knowing how to recreate yourself and the world around you. Now, quantum physics asks this question. What are these subatomic particles and how do they act? So if, we're, if we are one big compilation of subatomic particles, what are they and how do they act? So how can we know how to direct our particles, how to change things, right? Well, subatomic particles are energy packets, sometimes called quanta. Everything in this universe is made up of energy and these energy packets behave in the most amazing way. They are at our command. The reason they arrange themselves into a luxury boat, for example, is our individual and collective thoughts. Do you start to see the link between wealth and energy and physics? Up until this point, you may have been designing your, designing your world haphazardly and unconsciously. Um, now you will awaken and do it deliberately and consciously with direction. So let's journey into the quantum field. What is your body made of? Tissues and organs. What are tissues and organs made of? Cells, what are cells made of? Molecules, what are molecules made of? Atoms, what are atoms made of? Subatomic particles, what are subatomic particles made of? Energy, no, they are not made of energy, they are energy. 
You are one big chunk of energy and so is everything else. So one of the phrases that he puts through this book is he puts in, I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. And what we talk about in the How to Become Money Workbook is, I am, mon I am creativity, I am awareness, I am power, I am control, I am money. Okay, so I've substituted that phrase for the, and he puts this, he peppers this phrase throughout the book as he's explaining the science to you, okay? I am awareness, I am control, I am creativity, I am power, I am money. So what does that do? Okay, so this is what I want you to look at, and this is why we do what we do in Access, and why you want to start to look at what are the energy packets that have taken on the energy of a point of view that you're not even consciously aware of that is creating the results you're getting in your life, okay? Quantum physics tells us that it is the act of observing an object that causes it to be there where and how we observe it. Energy is the subatomic particles that in turn make up atoms and finally matter. Hi, Reed. This energy exists as waves spread out over space and time. Only when you exercise observation do these waves become particles localized as a space-time event, a, per a particle at a particular time and place, okay? So you see, your observation, your attention to something, and your intention literally creates that thing as a space-time event. This is scientific. Um, so no object is solid. It is made of rapidly flashing packets of energy, billions and trillions of packets of energy. They flash in and out of that space where the object is. They do not just stay there. So why does a human body or a car look like a solid, continuous object when we know now that it is actually a rapidly flashing field of energy? Well, think of a motion picture image, okay? So when you watch a movie, you see a person walk across the screen smoothly. Yet in reality, it is just a series of 24 slightly different frames passing before you each second so your eyes do not detect the gap between the frames. And each of those frames is a composition of billions of light photons flashing at the speed of light. That is what your world is, a rapid flash that causes an illusion of being solid and continuous. Once you understand what your world really and truly is, you start to understand its true behavior and nature. Then you can change your view of it. Now, I get that a lot of us on this video, we didn't need all that science to really, to jump into access consciousness tools and go, yeah, I'm in, it changes things, I'm in, right? Cool. And what this tells me is that the more willing I am to really get how things truly function, to not just buy into that we're energy, but actually to go, oh, wow, that's really cool. Like, there's science behind that. That's an actuality. For me, that empowers me with like, wow, what if... I put my attention on that I already have everything because time and space actually don't exist to particles and I am a bunch of energy particles. What if I, what if that's true? What other questions can I actually ask to invite those particles to be something different? Okay. Okay. So every single physicist agrees on one thing. Subatomic particles, those energy packets or quanta, are not particles in a particular point in space and time like a table or a chair. They are a probability that can exist at various points in space and time. The act of us observing them converts them into a physical particle at a particular point in space and time. And once we withdraw that attention, they become a possibility again. Imagine that the chair in your living room is one big subatomic particle. This is how it would act. When you're not in the house, and not thinking of your chair, it would vanish and become a probability that it can reappear anywhere in your living room or anywhere else in the universe. When you come back home and you think of sitting on a chair in a particular spot in your living room and you look for a chair at that spot, it would magically reappear. Subatomic particles behave just like that. So physicists have also discovered that quantum particles make decisions. They are powered by intelligence. Not only that, they know instantly what decisions are being made by other particles anywhere else in the universe? This synchronicity across space and time is instantaneous. Particles communicate without taking any time or crossing any space. You know how we talk about in Access Consciousness that if you clear a point of view, it clears for 350,000 other people? Because particles don't respond to time and space the way we've defined it. They just are. They, so in fact, listen to this, they move instantaneously from point A to point B without having to cross the space in between it. 
and point A and point B can be in different times. Remember that quantum particles are not particles in the sense that you normally think of particles. They're not things at a particular place in time. They are spread across space and time. So what is the intelligence that powers them? Well, it is from the mind of source, proportionally made up of our beings and every other being. That is what powers them. That's the intelligence that powers particles, okay? So think about all this carefully. Think about the fact that everything your eye can see is made up of these amazing particles which are under your control. Think about the scientific facts that now prove that you are a cause or co-cause of everything around you and that nothing you observe can exist without your observation. Okay? So I'm going to skip over a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to jump to this piece here, okay? If you ever feel powerless, consider this. And if you guys think this is helpful, share this. I think this is some fascinating information about quantum physics and actually what's true about what we change with these energetic tools. Okay, just share this around. Let's see what we can create. If you ever feel powerless, consider this. Einstein and other quantum scientists have proven that all physical matter is made up of energy packets that are not bound by space and time. This energy field has no well-defined boundaries. The universe is literally your extended, timeless, and un bound body. Science has also proven that the mind has no boundaries. All minds are connected into one mind. You are bigger and more powerful than you think you are. So stop sweating the small stuff. You already have it all. It's been said that before you ask, it's been given to you. Science is beginning to prove through quantum physics that this is scientifically true. The, this, sorry, this book right here, A Happy Pocket Full of Money. And I've just started it, but in the first four chapters, it talks about uh, quantum physics. So science is beginning to prove that before you ask, it's already been given to you. And you know how we talk about an access. It's like you don't need the words to your request. It's the energy of it that actually creates it. So we do end up using a lot of words like what would it take for blah, blah, blah to show up. But if you're being the energy of that, the words aren't required. It's already given to you. The infinite intelligence and potentiality at the quantum level the level that makes up all that is around us and our inherent abilities to influence this field is what gives us the having it all. We are beginning to know this on a larger scale, scientifically as well as spiritually. You already have riches beyond your wildest dreams. You have them. You may not be experiencing them right now, but you have them. Having and experiencing are two different things. An easy way to explain it is that you have the ability to fly a plane or surf a wave or go scuba diving, but you may not have experienced this aspect of your ability. Um, there's nothing you need to do to have this ability. It is already in you. It's already been done for you. All you need to do is experience it. So in our lives, we're really simply shifting our consciousness to experience aspects of ourselves that we've always had in a universe that has all that we can possibly wish to have. Even that which we have not imagined exists. The quantum field can form an infinite number of shapes and experiences. In fact, it's already done that. The pages of this book are just one of those things. The words you are listening to are one of those things. The, the, the device on which you're watching this movie is one of those things. The next thought you will have is one of those things. Yet you never predicted you would be experiencing these things. But your desire to read these words, your desire to see this video has caused them to appear in your hands. Indeed, they've always existed. You need not predict exactly how things will work out. All you need to do is desire, intend, know it's possible. In the money workbook, we talk about control. I am control is the knowing that what you ask for, what you choose, what you intend, what you envision will come to pass in the time that it does and in the way that it does. It will be arranged to come to you. The whole universe is brought into being by the participation or observation of those who participate and observe. Wealth is brought into existence by you and by all of us looking at it. And I would add to that by all of us asking for it. Now, when you ask, there is something that I learned in Bible school that was so helpful to me because in the Bible, it talks about asking you shall receive. And my pastor told me a story of like, there's the asking that is like, would you mind if I had this thing that really has the underlying point of view is like there's doubt that they'll get it, there's um, shame in the asking, like there's all these energies, right? 
But then there's the asking that a little kid does, right? He just comes right up, right up to me. He's like, can I have this fruit roll up? And he's already got it in his hand. Like he knows you're going to say yes. There's the asking that already knows what the answer is, what the response will be from the person that this kid is asking about. And that's the asking that I'm aware of is like, hey, what would it take to have this? What would it take to actualize this wealth that I already have? What can I be different? And that's that like, I have it. Now I just need to become aware of it. So universe, show me. It's already there. I already am it. I am money. I am power. I am control. I am this. I already have it. So what would it take for it to show up? What can I be that's different? Do you get the difference in that energy? That's not, that is not, oh God, what would it take? Right? Oh, another bill. Like, shit, will this never stop? Right? That energy has all these underlying points of view in it that are creating what you're experiencing in your world right now. And that, cause that's how quantum physics work. We are the embodiment of the particles and the energy quanta that this universe is made up of. We aren't this thing that we've decided we are, which is a body with a house and all, or we are the energies, right? So, okay. So let's just go here and then, thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Know this, he says, the quantum world is the real world. The world you see with your eyes is simply an imperfect perception of a group of quantum activity. Yet the quantum activity is caused by you. You are first cause. Never think that what you see with your eyes is first cause. It is the effect. Okay. A good illustration of this is the famous Schrodinger's cat experiment by Edwin Schrodinger, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1933. It depicts what's actually happening when you place a cat in a box with a closed bottle of poison gas, as well as a device that will open the gas bottle and thus kill the cat. You then close the box so that you cannot see inside it. The gas in the bottle, by the way, only becomes poisonous if one particular radioactive atom in the box decays. Quantum physics shows that this radioactive atom exists simultaneously in the decayed and the not decayed states until it is measured or until you open the box to see whether the cat is dead or not. Remember, everything exists in possible states until you observe it. So what happens when you observe the particles of your life and go, what would it take for all of this to turn into money? What would it take for money to actualize? What happens to those particles? Now, you cannot know whether the cat is dead or alive without opening the box. While the box remains closed, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time. This is why quantum physics is so crazy. Two contradictory states actually coexist. When you open the box to check whether that radioactive atom decayed or not, and therefore whether the cat died or not, then one of those two outcomes will materialize. Yet physicists know now that their expectations and their thoughts, and I would add the energy that they're being, influence results, and that the many worlds interpretation tells us that both actually happened, but in two separate worlds created by the choice that you made. We now know that everything in the universe is a wave-particle duality. What this means is that everything, including your body and your car and your financial reality, is a wave and a particle at the same time. There is no difference between you and light, except for the fact that light has a different wavelength than you do. Other than that, you're pretty much the same thing as light. And remember, it's, phys it's physics telling us this. Several thousand years ago, various spiritual teachers told us the same thing. We came from light. You are light. In fact, your body, when you examine it under a microscope, is 99% space. The rest of that, the solid part, is just a collection of the exact same things that light is made up, the same subatomic particles. Actually, even the space is full of energy. So this is your mini quantum physics lesson. And I really, I wanted to share this with you. And if you um, haven't yet written down the book, um, A Happy Pocket Full of Money, I highly recommend adding that to uh, what it is that you are creating in your own financial world. And I really want to actively invite you to the next three calls I'm doing on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I'm just... I'm just inspired. I'm inspired by what's really true. 
and I'm inspired by what we came here to change and be that's different. And I'm inspired by those of us that are really willing to use our curiosity and our capacities for adventuring into unknown um, that really does create the different reality we can live in. You, you do get that with what we're talking about here, we can live in a totally different molecular actualized reality than anybody around us because of what we're willing to be aware of and perceive and know and choose. That is possible. So I hope that contributed. And if it did, share it, because I would love for everybody to have this information. And I adore you. I hope to see you on the calls on Thursday.